Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, I'm going to explain you about one of the XPath concept, which is a SVG. And these SVGs are majorly used for some graphical representation. And these SVGs are called as scalable vector graphics. And these are mainly used for bar charts, pie charts, scalable icons, scalable logos, and whichever we have a graphical representation so there are uh, mostly used uh, this svg concept and this svg concept is used whenever there is a rendering of the graph and uh, we see the dynamic values there we will use mostly and uh, the basically the syntax of svg is a bit different when compared to the normal xpath so you all know xpath right in case if you are learning this xpath and you need to know all the different concepts related to the XPath and access methods. So I, ha I have already created those sessions. You can refer to my channel and I will also share those links in the description section you can find from there. And we'll see what are SVGs and how they look in the DOM. So I will take an example web page here and basically I will inspect. And after that inspect, I will just focus on to the any of the icon here like I'm assuming this is my SVG. So in case if you are not finding various SVG, just open this in element section and you need to find with the SVG. SVG, SVG. And we have nine here. So like this, you will get filtered. So this is normal general uh, like finding, quick find, not the path. Right, now I identified this icon and then i will start writing the xpath so generally we start the relay to xpath as a double forward slash then we type the svg and we suddenly see that it is a zero of zero so is it the right way of writing the svg path so you can comment in my comment section is that it is good or i mean right or wrong so generally for any element that we are trying to find or locate using the locators we generally use a double forward slash and a with the x path and uh, instead of anchor tag i can use a div tag or i can use a span tag so i can use anything but not svg svgs are a bit different and uh, to identify that so we have certain set of syntax so that syntax is you can start with double forward slash and you need to use a hash trick and you know right what is the functionality of asterisk anywhere within the dom anywhere that means anywhere within the dom and so this is main important so generally you will give the at the rate and attribute name and attribute value for this case it is a bit different local hyphen name so this is the method name so local hyphen name so it will go and try to locate based on the value that you provided here svg so now you can see here it has highlighted seven items here it is a one now we have six more items with the same name of svg and under that svg you may have couple of other tags like generally you will see g tag and path and you may have few other tags so how to locate those so basically under svg whichever element or whichever attribute you have those can be followed with the same syntax which is a local name method equal to svg or you can simply write a name as well instead of local name so you can remove the local and you can still use the name and you have a path here instead of svg i can directly add path so like this you can add so this is also another way of writing and here you have a tool of uh, one of tool items so for this you can use a mix of xpath and this uh, svg path so how you can use is basically here in the anchor tag you have a area label so i'm taking this as area label and then is anchor tag so after that uh, i mean before that i will use a relate to xpath concept here so you know right how relate to xpath works right now you can see one of one so this is how you can work with the svg paths and instead of path if i give a svg here and under svg with within the svg only i don't want to step into the path also with the svg only i'm able to focus on one of one item then you can 
refer to that and path has a different different references here you have this dimensions so these are like a two dimension and three dimension concept so you don't need to worry on that so by this name and svg it will identify most of the elements and in case it is not identifying then with the same uh, in the same tag you can also use this and and you have the focusable I mean focusable equal to false this is one of the attribute and attribute value so you can take that at and and you can use that so this is the one way of writing a mixer concept of x paths and the relative relative x paths and also the svg paths and this is the two names like local name and name with that two concepts you can use this and we have many more paths or many more concepts to use in the SVGs here but if you know about this main syntax then you can work on the other areas right so this is easier right now you can able to write the path which are required for SVG right so I hope this small session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and in case if you have any questions queries you can comment in my comment section and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague and thank you.